Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel, Baddison Intuitive Tarot. Hope you are doing amazing. In today's reading, I'm taking a look into your romantic love life for the week of December 2023. I'm gonna pull a seven card spread for you to see who comes through your reading today with romantic intentions. I'll take a look at how you both feel about each other deep down to be sure that you're both on the same page emotionally to see if there's any unrequited stuff going on. I'll take a look at your person's true intentions with you and the connection. I'll take a look at how they're treating you for the next seven days or so. And I'll also be diving deep into what's in your blind spot with this person, Taurus. Meaning, what could potentially challenge the two of you's connection this week that maybe you have no idea could even be an issue in the first place, like it comes out of nowhere. Um, I do that so that way you can see in order to prepare for it or avoid it altogether if it's not meant to be your karmic lesson, right? Also, I hurt my shuffling hand, so if you see me shuffling in a weird way, that's why. Hopefully it heals very soon. So let's begin. I did a three and a half hour live stream on Sunday <laughs> and my hand's like, are you kidding me? Spirit, what do we have for Taurus this week in love? December, 2023. Taurus, who's heading towards Taurus this week with romantic intentions. Ooh, the King of Cups just wanted to hop out. Someone coming towards you with a lot of deep emotions, possibly a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. It does not have to be a water sign, it's just someone coming towards you who's very emotionally stable and emotionally available. On the bottom, I see the Ten of Cups. We'll see if these cards come back out. Taurus, love, December 2023, two more shuffles. One and two. Let's rock this and deck for my terrific Taurians. Okay, so the person heading towards you this week, how do they feel about you deep down? We have the Empress, which is your major arcana. Now, to see the Empress for this person's feelings for you, that's pretty good. I, I personally don't feel like you can get any better than the Empress card for how someone feels about you. So at the very least, this person adores you, finds you very attractive, feels like you are abundant, you're just breathtaking or handsome. Remember, there's no genders in my readings. You can be a guy and show up as the Empress. But as far as feelings go, this person loves you, all right? They feel like you are like high grade quality as the Empress represents all four queens in one person. You got it going on, okay? Your wifey material or husband material in their perspective. Let's get their intentions with you because they can feel like you are the Empress all day long, but doesn't mean that they're gonna have good intentions for you, right? So what's their intentions? The Eight of Pentacles. So this person does intend to make things work with you. They do intend to put in the effort. They do intend to show you that they care. Very grounded energy, very earthy energy coming through. Doesn't mean that you're dealing with an earth sign. It's just it's somebody that, you know, feels stable in how they feel for you and what they want to see happen between the two of you. They're not fleeting in how they feel. They don't change their mind as much as they change their underwear. They know what they want. And what they want is you. Let's take a look at how they're going to treat you though, okay? Because I like to look at pe people's behavior. It gives me a really good insight on whether they walk the talk, you know? The Nine of Swords. So for some reason this week, their behavior is very stressful. Like they're really stressing about something to do with the two of you for some reason. I don't know if you're showing signs to them that you're not feeling like they are worthy of your time as they are with you or you guys may have had some sort of fallout that this person intends to work out with you, I need to get some clarity on why the Nine of Swords is their behavior. But it's telling me that late at night, thoughts of you weigh them down. Like they can't really get much sleep because they're always thinking about something to do with the two of you. Okay, the Nine of Swords is night terrors. The Nine of Swords is, you know, tossing and turning on your pillow, not getting comfortable, checking your phone messages over and over again, rereading messages you've sent to them, and just stressing. Okay, let's get your feelings for them, Taurus. Maybe that'll help me figure out what's going on with their mental state. How does Taurus feel? The Two of Pentacles, you're undecided. You know, that could be why this person's feeling, feeling uh, stressed. They don't know if you're gonna choose them. You see, the Two of Pentacles as your feelings, Taurus, tells me that you're still 
you know, the jury is still out there in regards to how you feel about this person. The Two of Pentacles is somebody that weighs the pros and cons. You know, yes, we communicate well together, but this person is kind of flaky. You know, they're very attractive, but I don't like how their ears look. <laughs> you know, it's weighing out the pros and cons. You know, our families get along, our friends fight. It, you're, you're definitely trying to make a decision that is going to be balanced and that you're trying to avoid any issues in the future. You're not someone that thinks about the short term. You're somebody that thinks about the long term Taurus. You're an earth element. Earth signs, majority of them, will always think about their five year plan, 10 year plan. Does this person fit my needs five years from now? You know, say you want to travel the world and this person's content with raising a family on a farm and living in one location. That's gonna come up as an issue for you in two years from now. You know, that's how your brain works, is what I'm getting towards. All right, or you've got another person that you're talking to, and this person is not the only one in your Rolodex. If people still use those, I'm giving my age away. So let's take a look at what's challenging the two of you this week. The Four of Swords. For some of you, what's challenging the two of you is you guys are not really talking much, and I feel like it's because you're trying to figure out what you want with this person. You're in this energy of, yeah, I know my person wants me, but do I really want them? Have they offered me everything that I deserve? Are they coming to me the way that I feel they should come towards me? You're really trying to take stock of what's going on and you're not allowing yourself to say yes when you don't really know. If you're in a maybe type of mentality, you're definitely not gonna give a yes or a no to this person. I got the similar message off of Aries. So some of you guys could be Aries Taurus, Taurus Cuspers, or you got Aries strongly in your chart. But I definitely feel like the challenge for the two of you this week is going to be very limited communication. Like your self service is low this week in between the two of you, all right? You guys aren't really talking much. You're, you're in the energy of self care this week is what it feels like, Taurus. You might have Libra in your chart. Now let's take a look at the weekly outcome. The Page of Pentacles. You're receiving an offer, Taurus, and this is the offer that you're going back and forth on. So I will clarify to see what happens next, but the Two of Pentacles plus the Page of Pentacles is the Three of Pentacles. You may just very well say yes to this person and work together with this person to create a foundation with them, okay? They're definitely texting you. That, that pentacle that this person's working on right now, that's that pentacle right there. They're priming it, they're getting it prepared. That's that text message, text message that they wanna to send to you. That's their face-to-face -face conversation that they wanna have with you. Let's get your advice. The Page of Wands. Your advice is just to have fun right now. I know you're wanting to think about the long run, but they're saying to just, for this week, just have fun. Just have fun. You may be uh, putting a lot of pressure on yourself because you have divided loyalties with your job, with your family, with your friends. You might have a lot on your plate, Taurus, and Spirit's giving you the green light to just take it easy and be, be playful and have fun this week. There's always next week to be serious about what to do about your future. They're saying to have fun, all right? What's the overall energy? The Ten of Wands. There's some sort of burden surrounding the two of you guys being together. Ten of Wands is the energy of having a lot of red tape to cut through, something not being cut and dry, not being black and white. You know, sometimes the Ten of Wands comes in when two people live far away and they're trying to figure out if they can do a long distance relationship. Other times it could indicate other people being involved or someone just having a lot on their responsibility to do list and trying to manage it all without dropping the ball. All right, that strongly came in in uh, Aries' reading. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles, which is you, and then I see the Six of Swords. So Taurus, it's feeling like you may have recently got out of something that was very stressful, and you're trying to figure out if you're ready to embark into something new that could lead to something stressful again. You're over here looking really good. You look really abundant here, Taurus. You've worked really hard for the life that you have right now, and you're not wanting to allow anybody to come in and disrupt that. So you're very choosy on who you give your time and heart to, which, hey, I co-sign that, you know. There's a lot of, you know, weirdos out there. The dating pool has been peed in, <laughs> so you've got to be careful out there. So let's clarify. One second. All right, so for starters, this person's feelings for you this week is the Empress. They think you look good, smell good, feel good. Why the Empress for how this person feels about Taurus? The Six of Swords on the bottom and the Tower. Ooh, 
Did something happen between the two of you during Scorpio season? Um, with the Empress clarified by the Tower, they're feeling like something sudden happened between the two of you, and that could explain why the Nine of Swords is here in their behavior. They want to smooth things over. They want to get past something that may be challenging the two of you. They're very determined to not let this be something that hurts you guys' relationship for the long, the long run. This person's in a very determined, you know, I'm not letting this come in between me and Taurus type of energy. I mean, look at them. They got the eye of the tiger. They're like, anybody in the way of me and Taurus being together, better look out because I'm coming. You know, it's a strong persistence to protect something nine of wands. Um, I don't know what caused that tower, but it is, it's most likely telling me that whatever that tower was, was enough to cut off communication between the two of you for a little bit, whether for a weekend, a couple of weeks, for some a little bit longer. You got somebody that's missing you is what it feels like. And then there's the emperor. Aries energy. The emperor is the counterpart to the empress. This person feels like they are the emperor to your empress. But they feel like something just threw a, a curveball in you guys' relationship and they're annoyed by it, to be honest. They're, they're not happy about this. They're not happy about this. And if this hasn't happened, it may be happening this week out of nowhere, Taurus. Okay? So let's get your feelings for them. Maybe this is you weighing out whether or not you want to forgive them for something. Maybe that's an apology. Why the Two of Pentacles for how Taurus feels about this person? That's Capricorn energy. Why the Two of Pentacles? The Three of Cups and the Ten of Wands. Now, a part of me wants to say that you're feeling overly burdened surrounding, surrounding dating this person or to continue dating this person, or to have a reunion with this person through your cups, Cancerian energy. You're feeling like you're getting this opportunity to invest in this situation very physically, very passionately, very um, intuitively, but you're, you're feeling like there's a lot that's going into you and this person restoring peace again or restoring the relationship putting it into balance with that temperance card you're you're going back and forth on whether or not you can even work with this person it's like you're feeling like you've been tested recently with this person on how you guys can handle stressful situations and you're going back and forth thinking can we really handle life's obstacles together if we can't even handle what we just dealt with a, a moment ago like if you guys broke up over a small argument, you may be thinking, wow, if a small argument was enough to tear us apart, even for just a weekend, how am I going to trust that we can withstand other obstacles that come our way in our relationship? How can I trust this person will not give up on me in the moment things get a little tough? Because relationships are hard. Ask anyone who's been married for more than 10 years. They're hard. You know, my mom and dad have been married for 40 years, I think, 39 years. And I'm the youngest out of a lot of kids. And uh, they, they've gone through some things, all right? And they're still together. My dad still hasn't lost his hair yet. <laughs> but relationships are a lot of work, you know? And you're trying to figure out if you can, you can do it with this person. So this person's intentions with you is the Eight of Pentacles. Why the Eight of Pentacles? Why the Eight of Pentacles? The Empress. This person wants to make the effort because they see you worth it. The Empress coming out twice confirms that how they feel about you is basing how they intend to move forward. They, they intend to be very nurturing to you. This, this is a very um, secure energy. Okay, It's very stable. It's very secure. I do see the devil in the Ace of Cups, though, so that does concern me. Um, that could be telling me that either you or this person, although feels the both of you guys are nurturing to each other, someone feels, feels scared that this is not going to work out in their favor in the long run. And I feel like that's you, Taurus. You, you're in this Capricorn energy. And you've got Capricorn energy right here with the Two of Pentacles. So right now during Sagittarius season, you may be going back and forth on something, trying to figure out if you want to power through this relationship. And then once we get into Capricorn season, that's when it's going to be now or never. We either do this or we don't. So by the end of the year of 2023, you may be making a final judgment call on whether or not to get to this person or start off the new year single. Okay, I'm strongly getting that, and I've been getting that a lot for the collective. People are not going into 2024 with the same crap over and over again. They're like, no, I'm not doing it. If this is for my highest good, I will entertain it. If it's not, I'm leaving it in 2023. 
The challenge for the two of you this week, Taurus, is the Four of Swords. Now, the Four of Swords also indicates a temporary separation, taking a break. Why the Four of Swords for the challenge this week? The Six of Wands and the Emperor. So it's feeling like the Empress here, which is you, Taurus energy, is taking a break from giving attention to the Emperor. All right, the Six of Wands is all about recognition, attention, giving someone an ego boost. Four of Swords is no communication or taking a break from feeding someone's ego or feeding someone's desire for attention from you. Empress, Emperor. All right, so for some of you, you have been in a long-term relationship with this person and around this time, you guys are not on the same page, but this Emperor would like to restore peace again as the Star card comes after the Tower in the tarot. Tower is the number 16, the star is the number 17. Okay, so you definitely have somebody here that's like, hey, don't give up on us. So their behavior towards you this week is the Nine of Swords. Why the Nine of Swords as their behavior towards Taurus this week? The King of Wands, Leo energy, and the Nine of Pentacles. So this person, they're stressing about how to stay confident here. They're stressing about how to take action, how to take the lead, because the King of Wands is a, is a leader. It's someone that is very confident and is someone very sure of themselves and their self-worth. Nine of Swords is influencing this King of Wands, telling me that this person is not feeling very sure of themselves. Um, but they're trying to stay grounded. They're trying to stay stable with that Nine of Pentacles influence. So it's a war between staying stable and, and being all up in your head, stressing out. You know, very back and forth energy. They're trying to maintain their confidence here in order to present you with this Page of Pentacles which is that opportunity that you're going back and forth on. So you might have two offers coming your way, Taurus. One is the one that you're gonna choose, the other one you're gonna say no to, perhaps. It doesn't have to be two people. It could be, hmm, should I just focus on myself or give to this person? Should I focus on my career or focus on this person? But the trick is to find a way to balance both, so not, not choosing one or the other, you can balance both. Why the Page of Pentacles for the weekly outcome? The Seven of Cups, and then I have the Wheel of Fortune. Now the Wheel of Fortune is the epitome of expect the unexpected, something happening out of nowhere, something being out of your hands, out of your control. The divine is orchestrating everything. The universe is the one driving the wheel. You just need to show up. All right, there's a lot of confusion about options, choices on your end, and whoever's sending this pentacle this offer is stressing out big time and I already confirmed it's your person. So it's like this person's coming to you being like, Taurus, will you accept my offer? You know, they're not coming in very bold. They're not coming in very strong and assertive. They're coming in very, Taurus, are we gonna do this or not? So I don't know how you're gonna, you're gonna take that Taurus because if someone was coming to me with a love offer, I want them to be confident about it. I want them to be like, Yo, Badison, you and I, we should definitely do this. We should be together. I think you and I would be great together. Here's my pentacle. Do you take it? I'll be like, all right, all right. You're kind of confident about that. All right, I'll do it. But if someone's coming up to me being like, uh, Badison, you know, um, uh, I think that you and I would um, be good together. I mean, if that's something you're okay with, um, would you accept my offer? I'd be like, really? Yeah, how am I gonna be confident that that is what's for me if you're not even confident, you know, in our relationship? So you definitely have some choices to make, Taurus. Your advice is the Page of Wands, which is Spirit's way of saying, have some fun, go out for a date with this person, don't be too serious. Um, there's always next week to make any final decisions. The world card came up telling me that there is a chapter closing for you very, very soon in order for a new one to begin. So it's almost saying enjoy the rest of the year 2023 and make your decision uh, just as you reach the new year. Because the world card pretty much feels like the new year and the full card is like January 1st, 2024. Some, some cultures believe that the new year starts in airy season. All right, so take it however it resonates. But as we close out the new year, or close out 2023 with the world card chapter closing, they want you just to enjoy yourself. Now, if you're in recent no contact with this person, I'm gonna get their hidden feelings for you. 
Actually, I want to get a card on that Ten of Wands first. Excuse me, Owl. Clarify that Ten of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles. Six of Cups and the, the Queen of Swords. So Taurus, you're telling me that this person is triggering some past emotions in you. Past emotions that you've already healed and moved on from Six of Swords, whether this pertains to an ex unrelated to this person, or if this is someone that you've had a lot of history with, you're definitely doing some self-reflection Six of Cups on the memories you've already created with this person and looking at all the burdens that you've already endured and wondering if this connection could ever be stable for you. You're making a very sound decision. Now, if this is someone that is someone from your past, you're definitely reflecting on the obstacles you guys have had together and asking yourself, can I really give to this situation? Can we really do this? Can we really be together? Or is this is where I draw the line in the sand and I move on? If this is someone that you've never been in a relationship with and you guys are still trying to figure things out, you definitely are reflecting on your past experiences and what those experiences taught you before you accept this person's offer. But this person is coming towards you with an offer and I don't know. It looks kind of weak. Not like, you know, they're weak. It's just the energy feels weak. It's like they don't feel confident. You know? If you're in that vibration, you're going to manifest a weak relationship. This person needs to work on their vibration because the primary law is the law of vibration and the secondary law is law of attraction. The vibration you're in is the vibration you're going to attract. So if you're coming to someone with a love offer fueled by, you know, fumes and frustration, you're just going to attract, you know, more frustration in that relationship, even if it had a lot of potential for a lot of maturity and growth. But if this person comes to you feeling confident about this connection, that being in the vibration of confidence, then you're going to manifest more things to be confident about in the relationship. You're going to manifest more success, right? So this person really needs to work on their vibration before coming to you with an offer. All right. So it doesn't like already come in tainted. Take it however that resonates. Now you could be dealing with a fellow Taurus. I got Libra here, I got Leo, I've got Aquarius here, I have um, Scorpio, I have um, Leo, I already said. But it could be any zodiac sign, okay? Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you like the book of prior reading with me, Taurus, the link to my website can be found in the description box below of every video. Also, if this reading did not resonate, do check out your Taurus December 2023 Love Monthly. It's in my December playlist if you toggle to my homepage. And last but not least, I recently did the All Signs reading where I dived into your person's feelings for you for the next seven days. I will link that in the description box below. It's titled December 10th through the uh, 16th. All right, you are my best friend and I cherished our friendship above all others. Your sounds feel safer to me. I don't want to get hurt again. I cheated you out of real love. I ghosted you because of my own insecurities. For some of you Torians, you got someone that ghosted you because of their own insecurities when they wanted to offer you something. I've committed to someone else because they don't challenge me. I mean, if someone's coming to you as a page when you're showing up as an empress, I don't know. That's intimidating for some. All right, so take it however it resonates, but this person is definitely coming to you with a love offer. Your advice is to just enjoy the rest of the, the month as we close out the new year and make your decision when you feel confident. All right, so I hope that reading helps. I love you, Taurus. Please rock that like and subscribe button for you, girl. Until later, love ya.